With the Hack GH1, the most important thing is the memory card that you use. Now, I've been testing this for a few weeks, and I've been testing different types of memory cards, uh, the cards that you need, what works, what doesn't work, and for the Hack GH1, you definitely want a Class 10 card. Now, there may be some Class 6 cards that work, but it's probably not worth your time to even test those. So with the standard GH1, it can record to a class four card because the bit rate is much lower. With the hack, it pushes the bit rate further. So there are times where you can max out the, the right capability of those cards. Um, the absolute best class 10 cards are made by SanDisk and Panasonic. If you want definitely the best cards and they are at the highest price, you can go with those. If you'd like something a little cheaper that works as well, the, the, the best cards for the best price performance that I've seen are the Patriot LX series cards. They're a class 10 card and you can get a good deal on them at uh, either Amazon or Fry's if you have the, a store nearby. Now if you decide to test other cards to see what works, one of the things that you need to come up with is a criteria to test the cards. If you shoot in a, a dark area, or let's say if you shoot with the lens cap on, the, the GH1 is smart enough to know to lower the bit rate. In fact, you might be able to record with something as low as a class two card if you were to put the lens cap on. What you need is a highly detailed scene, or you can print out a resolution chart and shoot that to test the, your cards with. Probably your best bet is going outside, finding a, a tree blowing in the wind, shoot it at ISO 100 and see if you can get the camera to crash. Now there's a lot of cards out there that actually claim to be a class 10 but they're very slow. Uh, you can get a lot of these on eBay, they'll be mismarked. Um, another one is like the, the cheapest class 10 cards possible like ADATA. Uh, you definitely want to stay away from those. Uh, Transcend has some cards that some people report great success, some people report having lots of problems. So you got to be careful with the really cheap class 10 cards. Uh, again, if you want the best, you could go with SanDisk or Panasonic Gold, uh, but I really recommend trying the Patriot LX. I have an 8 gig and a 16 gig card. I've tested multiple different cards and I don't really seem to have that many problems with the card. When it, I do get a right air, and I do get those from time to time, uh, most of the time I think that that has to do more with pushing the camera too far uh, than anything else.